few facts. This is green. This is brown. This is purple. Feel free to correct me in the comments, I guess. And this is the beginning of a new channel called Chromophobe, all about color blindness and color vision deficiency. Here's my resume, briefly, kinda, but hey, enough about me. Let's talk about you, or rather the people for whom I am making this channel. Chromophobe isn't for disability tourism. You know, I don't want people just to come here and spend four minutes feeling pity for someone who sees black and white, because that doesn't exist very much. No, this channel is for people who want to learn a little bit more about their condition or that of a friend or family member, who maybe want to find out how to better cope with their condition, and for all those people who've ever been asked, what color is my shirt? Well, instead of trying to explain it to them for the 15th time, maybe you can just show them a video of mine. When I was deciding to make this channel, I realized I had to do a little bit of research just to kind of feel out what content already existed. So step one, I opened an incognito tab in YouTube because I didn't want my preference for 1980s aerobic videos to skew the results. Uh, step two, I searched for colorblind. And step three, I watched the top 256 videos. I watched them because once you see a guy fail to sort M&Ms, you can imagine him failing to sort skills. And oh boy, the content is thin. Um, this is what I found. Just kidding, no one can read that. This should hopefully be a little clearer. The top category was music. And this is a little bit to be expected. Colorblind is a fairly common song name, mostly because it's kind of an abstract concept that lends itself to metaphor. Uh, save for one freestyle about being colorblind, none of the songs were actually about that. And in fact, 90% of them didn't even really mention color at all. Do colorblind people actually make music? Well, some have suggested that colorblind people actually have a stronger emotional reaction to music, which I would infer means that they are more likely to become musicians. But maybe we just don't write songs about it in the same way that Kanye West doesn't write songs about being bipolar. The second category was all about enchroma glasses, aka some dude seeing color for the first time and crying. Now, this is a loaded topic and there's a lot to unpack here. How the glasses work, how the glasses don't work, why someone would possibly go out of their way to fake a reaction to seeing color for the first time. It's, it, hey, Mr. Beast, could you help me out here? Why couldn't I have been colorblind, God? God, why did you give me perfect eyesight? If you would have made me colorblind, I could have milked it for views. <sighs> oh yeah. Now the third category is filters, and filters are pretty much a way to show normal sighted people, or normies as we call you, what the world looks like to colorblind people of different types and severities. Now, most of what you will see is not entirely accurate. For example, no one sees a banana leg, like nobody, this, does, this kind of colorblindness doesn't exist. And if you ask why people make stuff up, well, I think the editor of Logan Paul's famous in Chroma video can tell you why. For me, I get the footage, I have to make a video, and I have to make it dramatic, and so I edit it, and don't care about the truth. Yeah. Now my favorite video in this category are the photo bleaching videos, where someone will shine a bright light in their eyes for a minute, just to see what it feels like to be temporarily colorblind. I really hope this doesn't damage my eye. You know, it doesn't really make sense to me. It's kind of like wrapping rubber bands around your throat to kind of simulate what asthma feels like, but yeah, whatever, man, you do you. Category four is sideshow. And I put videos in this category where a colorblind person just exploits their colorblindness or someone even pretends to be colorblind and do something like uh, sort candy or solve a Rubik's cube. All right, cool, bro. Category five is race. Now, civil rights groups have kind of adopted this term to criticize white people who don't understand the difference between equality and equity. And as a colorblind person, ha have at it, guys. You know, for, you can have the whole term if you want. We don't like it. Uh, color vision deficiency describes it much better because, 
you know, we're not blind to color. So uh, category six or lifestyle contains videos of people uh, explaining how color blindness affects their lives and things they do to deal with it. Uh, the content's a little bit thin and pandery most of the time, but yeah, at least everyone is treating everyone with respect. Finally, category seven, uh, only 4% is educational videos. Oh, and I get it. It's so hard to make succinct science educational content about such a complex topic as colorblindness. I mean, SciShow, the quintessence of YouTube science content, has over two and a half thousand videos. And while they have a few videos that talk about the colorblindness of different species of animals, they only have a single video, one video on human color blindness. And it's all talking about the, how the chroma glasses work. Like, I'll let, I'll let Hank Green uh, maybe explain why. We were like, we need to make a video about that immediately. And then we spent years basically trying to get to the bottom of it. And this is the culmination of that. Thank you to our writing staff. Damn straight, thank the writing staff. Because color blindness has so many heavy fundamental topics that need to be understood, before explaining how the glasses work makes any sense whatsoever. I'm just introducing my channel and I'm already seven minutes in and you guys aren't even paying attention anymore. There has only been one YouTuber who I think has really accomplished making a short course on color theory and color blindness and that's Dr. Craig Blackwell, an ophthalmologist. His videos really helped me getting started on this channel and putting everything into a good perspective. Uh, and I can highly recommend you watching those videos if you can survive three hours of YouTube without cracking a single joke. So that's what exists. And using those categories, I wanna show you what exactly I plan to be in this channel. Now the first category is going to be educational. That means physics, anatomy, genetics, color theory, and graphs. Oh God, I love graphs. But don't worry, I'm more of a smart ass than smart, so you won't even know that you're learning. I also want to spend some time talking about the lifestyle aspects, how CFD affects our lives and ways that we can deal with it and get around our shortcomings. Uh, for example, filter apps that you can use with your phone that might prevent you from eating a starch bomb of an unripe banana. Or uh, we'll even talk about careers, certain careers that aren't very accessible to colorblind people or even some that might be particularly well suited to colorblind people. Third, uh, the glasses, the glasses, the glasses. Now we're gonna be talking a lot uh, about these glasses, the Enchroma glasses and their competitors. And uh, I haven't tried them as of yet, but I promised my wife that when I reach a thousand subs, I will buy a pair of the glasses so that she can see me see purple for the first time and cry. <laughs> but considering I am a strong pro tan, they are very unlikely to do anything for me, uh, so I'll probably just end up naming that video the smart ass disappoints wife by only seeing two new colors. Add in a pinch of filter and sideshow clickbait, uh, because I don't think the YouTube algorithm is going to be too kind to my video on CVD friendly bivariate color mapping, and a tiny hint of maybe writing a song about color blindness, and we've got ourselves a channel. I'm gonna upload a bunch of videos here in quick succession just to give the channel a little bit of a jump start. Um, next video is gonna be Colorblindness 101, followed by Am I Colorblind and Quizzing the Colorblind. Uh, is every one of my videos going to include the word colorblind? God, I hope not. After that, we will take a deep dive into the cones. Yes, the cones, the basis of colorblindness will give you all the terminology that you'll need to understand the rest of the topics we'll talk about here from uh, color blindness in dogs to tetrachromacy to the purple planet hypothesis or designing board games with colorblind people in mind. This video is sponsored by my wife who is taking care of my daughter right now. <laughs> She's trying. So uh, subscribe and um, tickle that like button or whatever. Oh. <laughs>